It's just about one month into 2022 and we're checking on the status of green country's housing market. If you need to move, is it possible to find a house right now? And with inflation as it is, is it a good idea to remodel that and many more questions joining me today to help answer some of those Carrie DeWeese, realtor with Chenoweth and Cohen, also Tulsa Home Builders Association board member. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. So let's start off with if someone is having to sell their home and then move in to another home. So you're selling, but you're also in the buying market. What are some of the strategies, some of the advice that you would give those people? Well, it's a seller's market now, and it has been for two years. And I think that that's probably going to be on the horizon this year and next year at least. So because you're a seller, you can be in the driver's seat a little bit. So you can negotiate a little more time so that you can get moved into a new home. Um, and yes, as a, as a seller, you're going to get top dollar, but then turning around as a buyer, you're probably going to pay top dollar. And just know that that's, that's normal and, and it, that's what's to be expected. In terms of closing costs, I know in the past, maybe people were willing, like sellers were willing to pay some closing costs. I would imagine that a lot of those things that sellers were willing to chip in are kind of out the window at this point if you're trying to buy that home. Yeah, that's pretty much off the table at this point. Yeah. If someone's trying to move, how, what kind of timeline do you give folks if they're trying to sell their home, but then buy a home and they want to, they want to get moved, right? They want to get they're anxious to get moved. What kind of timeline do you tell people just to be realistic? Realistically, about 45 days. And the if you have to sell your home in order to, you need those funds in order to purchase the next home, it's it's a challenging process, but everybody goes through it. So I, I tell people, give yourself a little bit of grace, pack your things up, and the day before closing, just move out, stay in a hotel, have all of your stuff in a U-Haul, and then go to your closing in your U-Haul, close, get those funds, close on your new home, and then you can drive and start moving in. So it's a little bit inconvenient, but it, everyone goes through it. The Tulsa Home Builders Association, obviously dealing with building homes in this market. What is your kind of forecast for this year uh, with green country? Obviously the material costs, what they are, what are you expecting for this year, even going into next year, if you're trying to build a home? You know, we're still getting cost increases. We have supply shortages. We have a huge labor force shortage, um, but that's not really stopping people from building or buying. Uh, I spoke with a builder yesterday and he had several homes that were just at slab stage and people were asking about buying that. You know, they, they were willing to wait for a brand new home. Um, I think people have realized that your home is your sanctuary and they they want to feel good and happy and safe where they live. In terms of remodeling, if someone owns a home and they're looking to remodel, what would your general advice be for them if they're planning to sell it soon? I would say buyers will pay you top dollar, but they expect it to be somewhat move in ready. Um, if they're going to give you top dollar or over asking price or any concession that you as a seller would like to ask for. So go ahead and do those remodels um, because you can enjoy living there while you're, you're there until you sell it. And it will get you more money for your home right now. You can probably get your money back on the remodel you're putting into it. In terms of someone who's maybe selling a second property or something that they renting out, so something that they are renting out, is this, I would imagine this would probably be a pretty good time in that situation where you don't have to move right away. Absolutely. And there are still investors out there looking for rentals and the rental market is even tighter than the, the purchase market. So if you're an investor, now is a great time to, to snap up some homes uh, that are for sale to use as a rental. What do you tell people? I guess the final question here, what do you tell people who are in the market, either buying or selling? Of course, you know, they see what's going on in the world. They see the prices. What do you tell them? And when you sit down with them and just talk to them face to face, give yourself some grace, know that everyone is going through this. And sometimes there's just one winner and a whole lot of losers, um, but that's okay. Uh, we'll work with your realtor. There's almost 6,000 of us in Tulsa and uh, just take it step by step because you will find the house that you want to be in. And, uh, and as a seller, just understand a lot of people are gonna come through your home and it's going to come at you quickly and just take a breath and work with your realtor and know that you'll get through it. Carrie DeWeese, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you.